I got a question. How does $13.70 a day end up turning into $1.2 million? Does anybody know how that happens? Now, 13, everybody in here could afford $13.70 a day. Am I going crazy? Or if you can afford $13.70 a day, put a yes in the chat. Yes, put yes in the chat. $13.70 a day. A day. $13.70. Now I'm going to show you how you take $13.70 and build wealth. Two simple steps. Two simple steps. One. Hiring your children. The other one, open a brokerage account. Compound interest will do the rest. I'm going to give you all, all the things you hear about. We're going to go through it in detail because I need y'all to do this. Time is running out. Our window is short. I need you to understand how simple it is for you to take your child and set them up for wealth. Simple. Simple. $13.70. I want you to think about that. Here's some of, the, some of the common questions that people ask when we go through this. When I discuss this, what are the age requirements to hire your child? There's no specific age to hire your child. This doesn't need to be of age for them to be able to do what you want them to do. Like 10 years old, 11, 12, 13. That's it. Of course, you can't have a five-year-old, seven-year-old. They need to be of the age that they can do whatever it is that you're going to get them to do. And we're going to go over that. The salary max, the average salary is anywhere a year you could pay them is six thousand to ten thousand. Now that's the average, but in New York it's twelve thousand. But the average is six thousand to tw to ten thousand dollars max a year you can give them. Does it have to be your child? No, it doesn't have to be. This is what I love for my grandparents here. You can hire your grandchildren to work for your LLC and do the same thing I'm going to give you. You want to leave them a gift? Here's the gift right here. Here's the, here's the game plan. Now, the tax benefits of hiring them and giving them a salary is because now the income decreases off of yours. So if you get $70,000 a year and you normally do $70,000 of income you're filing, you gave your kids $10,000. So now you're only filing taxes for $60,000. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Chanel, she didn't give a smile like, like nobody. You're only filing 60, that's $10,000 minus on your money. <laughs> so now that 10,000, it goes to your child. And now the 10,000, you're not being, you would have been taxed for. They can't be taxed for. They can't. So you literally pay them $10,000. But now we ain't going to give them the $10,000. You know, we ain't going to give it to them like that. I'm going to talk about that. But the point is, it can't be taxed. Now, here's some of the jobs that you're going to hire your kids for. Sorting and handling mail throughout the house. That's a real job. Shredding documents in your home office. Managing your social media account. Man, just checking your, checking your DMs. Photography. Shooting. For those of you that do online work, they can shoot some photos. They could go out on the road. They could do photography work for you. Website management. Product packagement for those who sell books, those who might do a little something like they can package. Cleaning and organizing your home office. Wink, wink, chores. Come on now. Talk back to me. Don't act like chores. Dishes, sweeping, mopping, windows. It's your home office and it's in your house. They're doing chores. <laughs> so you are hiring them to work for your LLC so they can do chores. And instead of giving them, instead of giving them an allowance, you're giving them a salary, y'all, in your LLC. I see Regina got the baby ready, ready to put her to work. <laughs> Regina, like, you gonna sit right here and you're gonna figure, you're gonna see what I'm getting ready to do. Right? So now let's go over this some more. The pay should reflect the market rate of whatever type of work it is. 
So if you're going to hire them to do some mail sorting or whatever, and it's part-time, okay, what the part-time salary is, $3,500? You pay them $3,500. Or if whatever it is, like, you pay them that rate. You can't pay them, like, you know, in that, I'm pay them $9,000, $10,000. Let's not get crazy here. Today. You know what I mean, Latasha? We can't get nuts with this. You know what I mean? We're going to pay them what it is. You're going to keep records of you paying them. All that is is you pay them through Zelle or whatever, that's the record. Proof of payment, just in case it, when it gets reviewed, or on your taxes, they say, okay, we just need to see how you were paying them. You're keeping that record. All that is, is digital footprint. You're paying them. That's simple. Simple. Now, I want to show y'all something. I want to show you. Compound interest. This is what happens if you start hiring your child at the age of 13. And let's say you're doing 10000 You're giving them, not giving them, but you're paying them $10,000 for the year for whatever that salary is, right? 10,000, but out of the 10,000, you're giving them five as whatever it is, a payment, whatever it is you want to give them $5,000 because because they're doing a good job. You want to give them some money, but you take in the other $5,000 and you opened up a brokerage account. You opened up a Roth IRA and you put in that $5,000 into this account at 7% interest, and they're going to keep this account until they reach 55. So listen to the math. Now, this is the structure. Literally, I'm setting up for my grandchildren now. I'm putting money aside for them now to pay for the $5,000 a year. So when they turn 13, they're going to work for me. I'm going to put the $5,000 in there consistently. But now when they get a job themselves, they must take over that account. They must put $5,000 in there a year. $5,000 a year is $13.72. Now, once they get a job, even if they don't want to put the $5,000 in there, which they should, I'm not even saying if. They're going to put $5,000 in this account because that's how much it's going to take. Once that account, 42 years later, they turn 55 years old. They're going to have $1.2 million, y'all. And you know what? That's not even a dramatic part. I need somebody to tell me what's the dramatic part. What's the dramatic part when they get 55 and they take that money out? Because you opened up that Roth IRA. Come on now. There we go. It's tax-free money. You just set your child, you just set your grandkids up from $13.70 a day, which is $5,000 at the end of the year, to go into an account that you opened up for them. And now when they turn 55, they can quit their job, leave their job, and have $1.2 million that's tax-free money from $13.70. And 70 cents a day. Can we do that? Type in the chat. Yes, I can. Come on. Did I break it down so simple that you can literally get off this call and say, I'm going to open up an LLC. I'm going to hire my child and get them an LLC. I'm going to pay my child. I'm going to. Put $13.70 away a day, even if you just do automatic withdrawal from your bank account into an account that's $13.70 a day where you don't even see it. At the end of the year, I want you to do the math on that, how much that will be, and it will turn into this amount that I just showed you. We ain't got no excuse. And you see compound interest calculator? I put the calculator inside the board, inside the slides for y'all. So you can click on that button, the calculator will pop up. So now you can see what it looked like if you have two children, three children. If you want to do a different amount, I gave you the calculator. Let's work, y'all. Can we cook? Can we cook? Because we ain't come here to play. They're not going to stop us.